we go to Western Samoa for this week's portrait of 58-year-old Herbert Samuel Phineas, manager of a trading company in Apia. And here's his wife, headmistress of a leading school, and their granddaughter Josephine, who is being taken for an outing. For 20 years, he's been deacon at the Protestant church in Apia, the town where he was educated. On this day, Herbert Phineas and Josephine travel first by road, then by outrigger, It takes two hours paddling to reach the island of Monono. That's the island he visits as often as possible because in going there, Mr. Phineas is in fact going home. Born in Fiji of New Zealand parents, he was brought up among the Samoan islanders of Monono. His story belongs to their recent history starting when he was brought here as a child by his Samoan foster father after his mother died. We find Josephine meeting Lena, her playmate. When he comes to Monono, Herbert Phineas is there as hereditary chief, the title to which other chiefs elected him. A new house was recently built for him and he intends living there permanently after he retires. He loves the island's serenity and the charm and warmth of its people. A project nearing completion is a long boat made from Ngasu, a local timber. Next New Year's Day, when Western Samoa becomes independent, its 40 oarsmen will race it against 12 other boats from both American and Western Samoa. Translated, the name of the boat means the club belonging to a joint, a name recalling a Samoan legend. The customs and ways of life remain unchanged on Monono. A delicacy is raw fish caught off the reef. And the song you are hearing is coming from a house where the women go about their daily task of weaving mats from leaves and grass. <laughs> This is a day when there's a special honour for their European-born chief. In the nearby village council house, they'll be feasting. When the chiefs meet, the only European touch is the Bombay Bowler, which Mr Phineas always has with him. Then the ceremony carried out by Puesi, the daughter of Chief Silusi. She makes the South Sea Island drink kava. It's made from the kava tree, and when it's cleansed, there's great joy because the drink may now be served. Here we have a man whose own son will one day have the right to be a chief. Recently, Europeans were given the choice of retaining their citizenship or of becoming West Samoans. Mr. Phineas chose to be a Samoan. This has been a day with Herbert Samuel Phineas, and next Sunday we'll show another personality in our series of magazine portraits.